Have you ever wondered how all the living things in an ecosystem are connected? An ecosystem is made up of living things, like plants and animals, and non-living things, like rocks and water. All the living things in an ecosystem are connected, and changes to one part of the ecosystem can have a big effect on everything else. Let's say we have a pond ecosystem with fish, plants, and insects. If the temperature of the water increases, it can affect the entire ecosystem. Some of the fish might not be able to survive in warmer water, and they could die off. Without as many fish, there might not be enough predators to eat the insects, so the insect population could increase. This could then lead to an overgrowth of plants, which could cause the pond to become murky and block out sunlight. This would make it even harder for the fish to survive. Similarly, if a new predator enters the ecosystem, like a fox, it could affect the populations of the animals that the fox eats. This could cause a ripple effect throughout the ecosystem, where certain animals might become more abundant while others become scarce. Scientists study ecosystems to understand how changes in the environment affect different populations. They collect data on the number of different species in an ecosystem over time and look for patterns. By analyzing all this data, scientists can make informed predictions about how changes to an ecosystem will affect different populations. They can also make recommendations for how to protect ecosystems from harm. For example, if they find that pollution is harming fish populations in the pond, they might recommend reducing the amount of pollutants that are released into the water. By understanding how ecosystems work and how they can be protected, we can help to ensure that they continue to thrive for generations to come. So, remember, changes to physical or biological components of an ecosystem can have a big effect on populations. Let's work together to protect our beautiful planet.